welcome back to my YouTube channel, y'all. I'm going to get a message out for you guys. I hope the message does resonate in every which way, shape, or form that it needs to resonate for you. If you like my vibe, give this video a thumbs up. And also, leave me a comment down below and let me know if the message does resonate with y'all, okay? I hope everyone is having an amazing day, okay? And feeling highly favored and highly blessed, okay? Because I do every day. And I hope you do too, okay? I just want to thank all my subscribers, okay? Welcome to the new ones and welcome back to the returning ones, y'all. I want to thank you guys for the comments, the likes, the super thanks, the dislikes, the hate comments. I appreciate them all, <laughs> okay? Let's get right into the message. Let's get right into the message. What are the messages? Oh. We got the Ace of Cups coming out, and we also have the Five of Wands. We have the Magician coming out. We have the Strength. We have the Seven of Wands in the Reverse coming out. And we have the Lovers. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody is fighting their feelings for you. Like, they're trying to suppress their feelings for you. But they're also trying to manifest you at the same time. Somebody else is trying to block some sort of love choice, love interest, interest from coming towards you. And they're working really hard to do so. What's this Ace of Cups? Ace of Cups. We got the Two of Swords. Like somebody is really fighting their feelings. What's this Five of Wands? Like they're trying to contemplate on if they should even... <clears throat> What's this Five of Wands? We got the Seven of Pentacles. Like, they're contemplating on if they should come towards you, invest in you, tell you how they feel. They're fighting this inside. It's like they're fighting themselves, though. What's this magician and the strength? We got the page of pentacles in the reverse. And we got the Nine of Swords in the reverse. Six of Cups. Definitely somebody from your past. Somebody is like, whoever this is from your past, they're trying to manifest you. And they're like, really, they're going through it because they don't feel like their manifestations is working. They don't. What's this page of Pentacles in the reverse and a nine of swords in the reverse? Like, it's really like... Mm, it's really getting to them. With the queen of swords and the sun, they really feel like... <laughs> like they're blocked from you. This is somebody you put a boundary up to. Somebody you could have told off as well. And now they're like stuck not, not knowing what to do with their feelings. It's like they want to come towards you. They want to express some sort of feelings that they're trying to fight off. And it's like, it's kind of giving me, this is the type of person who is looking at you like you're not, they're not enough for you. So this is why they're going back and forth in their head like... Mm. What's this seven of wands and a reverse and a lover is? Because somebody's definitely trying to block some sort of, yeah, the three of wands and the hermit. What's this lovers? We got the six of cups in the reverse. And we have the hangman in the reverse. 
whoever this person, we got the emperor at the bottom of the deck. Whoever this person is that's trying to like keep this person from coming towards you or block this person off from having these romantic feelings towards you, whatever the case is, they are aware that this person is stuck on you. They are aware that this person has feelings for you. And it's kind of giving me a third party. It's like this person wants them to just like forget about you. And whoever this third party is, it like fuels their blood. <laughs> and I don't know if it's just because it's you, but it's like this part, this third party, they, they know like you're this emperor. They know you're this emperor and they know whoever want to come towards you knows you're this emperor as well, man or female. But they know this person is stuck on you. They're aware of it. And they're trying to like keep this person from coming towards you. Like they're trying to make this person forget about you. Mm. What's this two of swords and the seven of pentacles? We got the chariot and we got the two of cups. Like this person wants to rush in though with the page of wands. They want to rush in and like express their feelings. Like, cause it's kind of giving me like, this is somebody who could have went in a whole nother direction. Okay. They could have went in a whole nother direction, which means, and it doesn't have to mean this, but which means they were not seeing your worth at the time. You know what I'm saying? Because now they want to come in and express something to you, express their emotions. This is a person who does not express their feelings a lot. They like to suppress them a lot. They don't know how to express their feelings. They feel like they would be soft if they were to do so. But it's like this person is holding their self back from what they actually want as well. Literally. So what's this chariot and the two of cups? We got the ten of wands and it's stressing this person out. It's stressing this person out because this person... Is more of like a head over heart type of person. So expressing their feelings is something they don't do. Like on a daily, on a monthly, like on a yearly. They just don't do it. They rather, they feel more comfortable suppressing them. But they really want to express their love for you. They really want to express their emotions for you. This is also giving me that this person could have, like I said, went in a whole new direction, which they know that it's not going to be easy just to like come back. So with this Queen of Swords being here, it's giving me like, that's what they are like kind of afraid of as well, of what you're going to say, how you're going to perceive it. It's kind of giving me they don't like to be rejected as well. What's this um, Queen of Swords? What's this Queen of Swords? We got the Seven of Swords. And we also got the King of Cups. We got the Knight of Swords. So you view this person as betraying you in some sort of way. You view this person as betraying you in some sort of way. And this is why you have your guards up. This is why you have your boundaries up towards this person. What's the seven of swords? What's the seven of swords? Ooh. We got the queen of pentacles in a reverse. And what's this king of cups? 
We got the Knight of Cups in the reverse. We got the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. There's a third party who was in on whatever this betrayal is. They are very jealous of you. They're very jealous of you. What's this Queen of Pentacles in a reverse? What's this Queen of Pentacles? Like, they have something to do with why you put your boundaries up towards this person. Not, not giving this person any type of credit or trying to, you know, vice for this person or anything like that. But they were involved with whatever this is. What's this Queen of Pentacles in reverse? We got the Four of Swords. And what's the Four of Swords? We got the Six of Wands. We got the Emperor at the bottom of the deck. This person is very jealous of your recognition, your success, <clears throat> your beauty, the way you take care of yourself, the way you handle, like, like this person is very jealous of you. Very. What's this Four of Swords and the Six of Wands? And like they try to distort your energy when it came when it came to this past person. Like they try to like literally destroy destroy. I can't even say that word. Distort. Distort. <laughs> distort your energy. This person, this third party person thinks about you a lot. I don't know if this was a person that was like around when this person gotta be. This person had to be around when you were dealing with this past person. They know of you. If they don't know you haven't met you, they know of you. They think about your success a lot. What's this four um, swords and the six of wands? We got the, with the Knight of Wands coming out with the death. They think about what you got going on in your personal life a lot. This is like the type of person that oh gosh. I don't even want to say that. <laughs> but this is the type of person that hates on people doing better than them. Like, I don't know what this past person showed them, told them. I don't know what this, this third party seen, but they seen how, like, this past person treated you different different than the rest. This could have been the beginning of the relationship. Whenever it was, they treated you different. They really did. And they seen it. And they didn't like it. It's kind of giving me a third party that... Oh, this is something weird going on. What's this Knight of Cups in reverse? It's something weird going on with this third party. We got the Eight of Swords. This third party is trapped in their head. About you. Oh my goodness. What's this Eight of Swords? Oh, that's too many. What's this Eight of Swords? Trapped in their head though. Like... Like it turns it turned into envy, like literally. With the page of swords, this third party watches you. In some way, shape, or form, this third party watches you. With the four of pentacles, 
Like this third party is really trying to hold on to your energy. What is going on? What's this Eight of Swords and a Page of Swords? With the Fool and the Empress. Like this, <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know how this third party is viewing you or how they're seeing you or how, I don't know. I don't know if this past person is pillow talking, told this person a lot about you. Somehow this person knows about you. And it's it's kind of giving me, they, they want to embody this Empress energy. They want to embody it. What's this fool? Oh. We got the Hermit. We got the Ace of Wands. And we got the Three of Swords coming out. Seven of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Like, oh gosh. Mm. So somehow this third party knows that you have a lot of opportunities, okay? Whether that be work, whether that be in love, whether that be just in general. They want you to like walk away from that. Like they want you to like stop doing what you're doing. Stop working on what you're working on. Stop Oh, Lord, have mercy. They want you in a three of swords energy, okay? They do. And what they did was, if this was like a third party interference type of thing where your past person went towards somebody else, this third party had a lot to do with that. They had a lot to do with persuading this person, lying to this person, and everything like that. H however, everyone do have free will, okay? You can do what you want to do, okay? You can make your own decisions, okay? Your past person chose, and I really feel like it. this was like a love bomb. Like, this was a love bombing type of thing. This third party love bombed the f out of your past person. Made them think that things were going to be this, this was going to be this. And at one point in time, it could have been rolling in. You know what I'm saying? They could have been getting this, getting that. But it was only for the moment. You know, it was only to will them in. Because now I really feel like your past person is in a situation ship that they don't want to be in because they wouldn't be still thinking about you and they wouldn't be thinking about if they should invest in you or not. Something's not going right. And we're going to get to the bottom of it. What's this three of, um, three of wands? So many. What's this three of wands with the devil? They're trying to, they're really, I don't know what this third party got, what kind of hold they got over your past person. But honey, it really got their mind warped in some sort of way. What's this devil? What's this devil? Can I get one for the devil? We got the <laughs> Ace of Swords. It was definitely a lot of lying going on. With the Five of Pentacles, a lot of lying going on. It could have even been blackmail going on as well. What's this devil and the ace of swords in the reverse?
We got the Nine of Pentacles. This third party is unstable. But they want to appear like they're not. They're unstable. Unstable. This third party lied. Like, this third party knew what they were doing. Okay? When they presented themselves, they presented themselves like they had money, they had resources, they had it all. Like, when I say, when I say <laughs> they came like they was the full package. Listen, when your past person got over there and got settled in, mm, mm, mm. Mm -mm -mm. They were in for a rule awakening. And if this was somebody who manipulated you or was just playing games with you or anything of that nature, it's like they walk straight into their demise. Because when this person went towards this other person, they thought that they were better than you. They thought that they had more than you. Okay, and it's it, it it this person love bomb the hell out of your past person, and it's crazy because this is like really talking about the third party. Really, we gonna get back over there to your third person, third person to your uh past person though. But this this um third party is very unstable. This is kind of giving me devil, ace of swords in the reverse, and the nine of pentacles in the reverse. This person will do and is doing anything to make sure this past person is not going to approach you or come towards you to relay any feelings because they know this person still has feelings for you. This person is very unstable. Very. What's this um, six of cups in the reverse? Oh, we got the four of pentacles. Four of pen and the sun. This third party is stuck on you. I don't know if you were if and and take this how it resonate. If you were talking to a third talking to a third party, oh my goodness, y'all. If you were, if you knew anything about this third party, like if this person just start acting weird out of nowhere, or he threw a third party in your face, or you just found out about a third party or anything like that. Like, whatever dynamic you and this person had, it's like this person was, like, on the sidelines. Like, they were, like, I don't know. It's giving me, like, they were, like, using your energy, like, harvesting off of your energy in some sort of way. It's like you being around or you being in the middle of whatever this was, this third party like grew to be obsessed with you in some sort of way and now that you're not around or you know you're not talking to this past person you're out of these people lives or whatever the case may be this third party is it's missing that <laughs> with the six of pentacles in the reverse this third party was stuck on the idea of you like, it's kind of giving me, like, this is a third party that's proud to be a third party. What's this four of pentacles? Proud to be a third party. Hold on, y'all. Too many for that. What's this four of pentacles? I mean, take it how I resonate, because some people out here that's Side chicks, as they call them, they like to be side chicks. If that's what you like, that's what you like. But I ain't being no damn side chick. I know that. What's the four of pentacles? And no shade. No shade at all. We got the tower in the reverse. And we have the five of, five of swords in the reverse. And the emperor at the bottom of the deck. I cannot make it up. <clears throat> This third party want to reconcile with you their damn self. They don't, they did not want something to end. Like, what is going on? They didn't want something to end. Like, oh my God. It's like this person liked it. They liked it. 
They felt with the emperor being at the bottom of the deck is making me feel like they felt like they had control over the situation. They felt like they had control. Like, yeah, I'm the side chick. Or I ain't even going to use side chick. I'm going to use third party. I'm the third party. So I know he and her, they together. They doing this. They doing that. But when I call, he's going to come running. When I, when I text him, <clears throat> he's going to stop everything he's doing. Like, this is what it's giving me. Like, they were getting off on that. Oh, well, I bet you I can make him leave. Like, stuff like that. Ugh. That's nasty energy. <laughs> Like, you just proud to be a sad chick. I cannot. What's this um hangman in the reverse? But they're aware that this person don't want to be with them for real. With the higher friend. What's the higher friend? We got the four of cups. The king of pentacles. The ace of pentacles. And the empress. With the judgment at the bottom of the deck. So. <laughs> this third party doesn't want your past person to come towards you, right? Hear me out. She don't want this third party to come towards you on like a loving um for a loving connection, okay? She wants this, she wants your past person to come towards you to put you back in a loop, okay? Not because they actually love you and wanna be with you, but because this third party wants them to come back towards you just to put you in a loop because they they feel like okay and this this is about to sound weird but this is what i'm saying okay they feel like you got the resources you got the tools you got the ideas you got the abundance and it's like being connected to you empress <laughs> being connected to you will bring them finances, financial opportunities, um, abundance. Like with this King of Pentacles being here as well, it's kind of giving me, she'll be living through your past person, if that makes sense. Like whatever he's getting from you, he's going to bring it back and break her off a piece of it. You know? Okay. <laughs> okay. I cannot. Mm-mm. People do. Oh, my God. People really think like that? Like, what? And this is what it's giving me. It's giving me, like, like I said, this third party is very unstable. Very unstable. Lie. Steal. These people can even do all of that together. Like, mm. Mm. And this is why this third party looks at you like an empress on top of your game. They know they cannot compete when they don't compare. And it's like, what they really, really want, really, really bad, is for this person to come towards you with no, no effort to have any type of loving feelings, any relationship, but they know they do. So it's like that route is not gonna work in their favor. It's not gonna work for them. Mm, mm, mm. Y'all. Okay. <laughs> okay. What's this ten of wands over here with your past person? Let's 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 see what's going on. What's this ten of wands? Because this person is very stressed out, and just by just just by seeing how this person mindset is liar just just seeing all of this i know they going through it with this ten of swords i mean this ten of wands what's this ten of wands i know they going through it what's this ten of wands come on baby what's this ten of wands okay no okay 
We got the two of wands and we got the eight of cups. This past person is planning on leaving this person. Now, whether you want this past person back, that's up to you, okay? And you, you, that's up to you. Place the rose as they fit. Don't take it if it don't fit. Don't force it to fit. But this person is planning on walking away from this third party. Like, I can't even take reading it, so I know they can't take living it, okay? Two of wands in the eight of cups. The bottom of the deck, Queen of Wands, could be even coming towards you, child. To work on something with you, collaborate. Whoa. What's this Two of Wands and the Eight of Cups? What is going on? This past, your past person. I, and just, 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 let's go back real quick. Because I kind of explain what type of mindset, what type of, personality what type of person this third party is i don't i wouldn't be surprised if this person like get down with the get down and when i say get down with the get down i mean dibble and dabble in things that they shouldn't be dibbling and dabbling in because if this person is willing to do whatever, lie, cheat, steal, whatever, with the devil being here, that devil card is giving me so much dark stuff right now. So much dark stuff. And I gotta, I'm, I'm gonna go back to that devil card, y'all. What's this two of wands and the eight of cups? We got the two of pentacles in the reverse. Like, this is very unstable. Like, ugh. What's this two of pentacles gonna reverse? Your your past person feel unstable. Just messing with this person. We got the will of fortune and the queen of wands. We got the six of pentacles. Okay, this six of pentacles just kind of gave me like, and this devil just keeps staring at me, y'all. Like they are paying for something. They are paying for something to be done. And it could be towards your past person, and it could also be towards you. Take it how it resonates. But what they're trying to do is they're trying to make your past person so unstable that they're not even, you're not even going to want them if they do come back to you. Like, it's really giving me that this person is going to destroy your past person. Destroy. Destroy. Let's see. Let's see. What's this devil? Because right now, your past person is not stable. They're in balance. They don't know what to do. Their emotions is everywhere. Because this part, this third, they're doing something. We got the judgment in the reverse. And we got the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Like this person, this past past person, this third party, they don't want to let something go. They don't want to let something go. They don't. What's this judgment in the reverse and the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse? And this person, like, I don't know who your past person went towards, honey. But I'm getting, they can't even stop this person from like, oh, excuse me, cheating. Like, they're being, like, if this person put you in a third party, they're being put in the, like, oh my, y'all, y'all have to understand this when I say this. Listen, if your past person put you in a third party, played games, played with your heart, made you feel wishy-washy, didn't know what, what the hell was going on. Listen, they are receiving that tenfold for whoever they chose to go towards. And I'm also getting another thing for the people who don't know exactly who they went towards, but intuitively you may know. They don't want you to find out who it is. They don't. And it's because it's somebody that you probably thought of before, but just didn't have the proof. It's kind of giving me somebody they could have said that was a sister or a cousin. Take it how it resonates. 
high priestess at the bottom of the deck. You intuitively know this, though. You just don't have the hardcore proof. And they don't want you to find that out. <laughs> they don't. Mm. What's this judgment in the reverse and the Knight of Pentacles? And this third party is not trying to let something go. Like... We got the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. We got the Emperor and we got the King of Wands. And we got the Three of Cups at the bottom of the day. What's this Emperor? What's this Emperor? What's this Emperor? We got the Justice. And what's this king of wands? What's this king of wands? <laughs> Can I get one for the king of wands? Oh, that was too many. Can I get one for the king of wands? We got the sun. We got the world at the bottom of the day. Your past person is going through it, okay? They are going through it. They, this this third party got thar, third parties out the ass on the side. Out the ass on the side. And they got people who's like, Mm, this third party is messy. They even got third parties on the side that's like finding out that they in a third party. Oh my goodness. And now your past person over here feeling like they got duped. And did. And did. Mm, mm, mm. With the world, though. Mm, mm, mm. Let me let me clarify one more thing. Oh, what's this justice in the sun? Like, cause there's some things that's coming out that this your past person finding out. With the moon, things that were hitting. Three of Cups, like literally third parties out the ass, y'all. Like if you think yo, if you think your past person put you through some shit, honey, they reliving it tenfold. If you couldn't get this person to be committed to you, they can't get this person to be committed to them, honey. But this is the thing, though. This is the thing with this. What's the moon? Y'all, I can't. <laughs> What's the moon? This is the thing. This person, this third party is just blatantly out in the open. Don't care. Like, mm -mm. And then this person is giving me, like, this person will be like, but you know I love you. And it's like they they keep this your past person, they keep them like through intimacy. It's like they would love bomb them all over again and then they'll have intimacy like to keep keep them stuck. What's this moon? What's this moon? What's this moon? Come on now. We almost done with these cards. Okay. We got the high priestess and the seven. Um, the six of wands, six of swords at the bottom of the deck. You knew to walk away from this. Like you were being nudged to walk away from this. Your intuition was telling you to walk away from this because, first of all, this person. My bad, y'all. My little um <laughs> alarm went off again. But anyways, you were being. 
divinely guided out of this situation. You were being guided to let this person go because what they did was they walked right into their own demise. The person that they thought were better than you, have more resources than you, were just better than you in, in general, honey, no. If you think you got the shitty end of the stick, honey, no, you didn't. Your past person is somewhere with a third party in third parties. Like, however this person treated you, manipulated you, made you feel less than, honey, tenfold, okay? Tenfold. And they are stuck on trying to come back to you. Stuck on thinking that they should have gave you something. They should have gave you an opportunity. They should have gave you a relationship. They should have acted right. They shouldn't have tried to manipulate you. They should have really took you seriously. They really shouldn't have lied to you. They really should have been the man or the woman that they knew they could have been for you. This person is learning less sense. And this one right here, honey, I would not want to learn this one because I... It's, it's just basically mirroring back at them. Like everything this third party is putting them through, they're sitting back and they're like, damn, this is how it feel, huh? This is how it feel. Mm. But you were the, the finally got it to walk away. You had to. You had to. Okay, y'all, this is going to be your reading. <laughs> I hope the reading did resonate for someone. Um, I hope it did give you some clarity. Yeah, okay, because this was a lot, okay? Um, like this video if you liked my vibe. Also, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you were suspecting this or you found this out. Like, tell me what's going on because this is crazy. This is a lot. This is a lot, y'all. I mean, I don't know if y'all gonna take this past person back, you know, after they learn their little lessons, or you just gonna look try again with somebody else. Hey, I don't blame you. You already uh I already gave you a chance, so don't come back to me broken. <laughs> I ain't fixing you, okay? But yeah, y'all, this is gonna be the end of y'all reading, y'all, and I will see you guys in the next reading. Bye.